Hi, this is Angela from Extra Special Teaching and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to use some of the feature and PowerPoints that can be used when you're creating a printable. One of the first things I like to use is the grouping tool and that comes in handy when you want to move a group of objects and have them all stay the same. So on this slide right here, I've already created one group and I want to make another group that looks exactly like it, but I don't want to move it in individual pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of the objects and then I'm going to use the command key on a Mac, which is similar to a control key on a PC, and I'm going to hold it down and click all the things that I want grouped together. Then I'm going to go under here, this is under size, rotation, and ordering, I'm going to click grouping and I'm going to hit the group key. Now I can move it all as one object so then I'm going to copy it and paste it. And one thing you'll notice about Mac or about PowerPoints is they really like to line everything up so they give you these guidelines and you can't place it ex wherever you want on the screen but using these guidelines it can help you keep things in line from each other so that's a nice feature. So I'm going to go ahead and place it down. Now one thing I like to do a lot when I'm making things is have my um, have objects be equally spaced which can be a little difficult to use the ruler to do that so one little trick I use is I go up here to shapes and I'll get a rectangle and I'll just draw a rectangle so that it fills up however much space I want um, the object to be spaced apart so I'll draw my rectangle and then I'll move it over here and you can see I was a little bit off so then I can just move it so that it fits in there nicely and now my items are evenly spaced and I'll delete my rectangle. Then one other thing that I really like to do is use the nudge tool which I'm going to go onto this slide right here. As you can see I've already started the slide but I also want to put an oval around this 2 right here so that everyone knows it a factor. So I'm going to copy that oval and paste it and I'm going to go over here. Now one of the things that can be tricky about PowerPoint is they really like to line everything up nice and neat but sometimes that's not where I want to place it. So one little trick I found just by accident was if you place it where you were you can use the nudge tool to move things a little bit at a time and what you do is you highlight the item you want moved and then use your arrow keys on your keyboard and you can move the object around just a little bit at a time so that you can get it nice and evenly spaced where you want. And there we go. So now I've gotten the oval around the two exactly where I want it and like this four oval maybe it's a little bit too not exactly centered so I can use my nudge tool to move it just a little bit. Alright, there you go. There, This is your tutorial on how to um, group objects together, how you can use the auto shapes to help you measure an equal space between things that you're placing on your screen, and how to use the nudge factor. I hope this is helpful. Thanks!